In addition to executing sequences directly, we can execute sequences using an execution entry point, which is a sequence in a process model file that invokes a test sequence file typically by calling the main sequence callback in the client sequence file. So here is a sequential model file and let's load a sequence. And here is it. here is it. It's uh, a main a sequence. Executing an execution entry point performs a series of operations before and after calling the main sequence of the sequence file. Common operations of the process model include identifying the unit under test, notifying the operator of pass or fail status, logging results, and generating reports. The sequential process model includes uh, uh, some entry points, for example, test unit under test execution entry point. Uh, the test under unit test execution entry point initiates a loop that repeatedly identifies and tests unit under test. Then we have the single pass execution entry uh, point. The single pass uh, execution entry point tests a single unit under test without identifying it. We can use the single pass execution entry point when we want to debug tests or determine whether the sequence execution proceeds as we intended. In this uh, uh, tutorial we will, uh, we will run the main sequence in the uh, computer sequence uh, file using the uh, test unit under test execution entry point of the sequential model. Let's go to the configure and from there let's launch the station options dialog box. On the model tab, number one, we have checked to use the station models. Next we can check that uh, we are using the sequential uh, a model sequence as the default uh, model. So let's go to the execute and from there let's select test unit under test. Before executing the steps in the main sequence, the process model sequence launches a unit under test information dialog box. This one. This is not coming from the computer sequence. That uh, prompts us for a serial number. Let's enter a serial number. Let's enter 1 and let's click OK. Next, this uh, test simulator launches which is coming from our uh, computer sequence and uh, we can either let a test fail let's fail this RAM test or we can allow all tests to pass so let's click OK and uh, the sequences test steps are executing in the main sequence so the dialog box has appeared which uh, is informing us that uh, the test has failed 
so let's press OK this closes the dialog box and the test stand has generated a report but has not displayed us and it will put it uh, in the pending uh, un until we finish all uh, t uh, testing all unit under test and then again the unit under test information dialog box has uh, appeared let's test another unit and let's run it to pass all tests this time All the tests have passed. Let's click OK. And it's asking us for more unit under test serial number. Let's not continue anymore and let's press stop. Now we will be taken to the reports section. And uh, in our first test, we had failed the test. We had failed the RAM test on purpose. The second test had passed. All tests had passed. And after we have done our uh, reviews, uh, uh, one more thing to view this. Uh, These reports are being served to you using Microsoft Internet Explorer. So this one uh, in the Internet Explorer must be installed on our system, which is by default installed in uh, Windows. So to close all these windows, open windows, we can go to the window menu and we can then select close all windows and our sequence editor is now empty of all open windows